The Colonel waits on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Us? I thought you just wanted to check in with Monroe. Not sign me up for the army. Not at all, Shane. But I admire the Colonel's ideals and want to make them happen. What kind of ideals? Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. And he certainly seems honorable. We'll head for Albany. After that, I'll see. Split. Full sail ahead, lads! In good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. Tis a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Uh, might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby, I happen to know. I like the sound of that. What sort of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonies. They intend to undermine local authorities. I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods. <laughs> Colonel, you and Gist here seem inspired. Is there something in the water? Now, why do you say that, Master Cormac? I think Shay here is skeptical about our intentions towards our fellow man. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety, now, development, now, and Captain. purpose. Funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Not an end in and of itself. The wind is picking... Says you. I think it's a fine end to a game of cards. Donc je me suis enrôlé pour une autre année.
Captain has the hell! Your ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Gist. There is plenty around here for any of our lifetimes. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. But we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. Otherwise, There's they will just dig in. Like Knock her down like a game of nine pins! Begin by hitting her towers. As the colonel says! Awaiting orders, sir! Fire! Look! There's the gun! Warship! Fire! 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 Chasseur? Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chasseur. You would assassinate me. I thought that was your specialty. Keep running! We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. Don't give him the satisfaction of slipping away! Find him again! He 
You are always good at your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift. Sir was right. I... I had no other choice. If the assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come after me. While you were busy taking down that fort, I happened to stumble upon the treasury. You don't say. It was the damnedest thing. <clears throat> uh, well, in, in any case, amongst other things, I found maps and charts detailing various French trade routes. What are you thinking, Guest? I thought perhaps we could use them to um, help the Royal Navy and fill our pockets. I stored these maps in your cabin, Captain, should you wish to use them. and congratulates you, Shane. He has returned to New York. But you look troubled. Do... Do you ever wonder if you're doing the right thing, Gist? If you chose the right path? Ah, I used to, my young friend, but not anymore. Not since I met the Colonel. And what's the question? The French are entrenched in our territory. It's about time we root them out. Of course. You're right, Kist. Let's head back to New York. Hi, Captain. to the wind.
Ah, Master Colmack. What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. Hope. I pray it's not you. Good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing, then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia, and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Yeah, of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Use these grenades to destroy that door. Good work. Good work. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill most of New York. But that's my first target. Be careful, Master Cormac. We understand that the ingredients are highly unstable. All the better.
Come over here. over here. I've got a good line on it! 
Get out, or I'm as good as dead. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shea can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on uh, the Colonel. Huh? <laughs> Something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. 